Alright, so let's set that up there. Hey guys, what's up again? Tom Slither Kirby Runs right here, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm doing Ross's intro, but anyway, today, we're going to be doing a new challenge I just thought of. I call it the All-in-One Luigi's Mansion Edition Challenge. Try saying that five times fast. So yeah, all you really need for this challenge is a copy of Luigi's Mansion, a GameCube, a TV to play it on, one controller, and the trick to this challenge is you have to have no save cartridge. Because, we're going to do this without saving. So, let's start the game up, and let's play. Nintendo. Now, just as an FYI, I have started this before. Just last night, I did try and do a practice run, so I'd be ready. So, let's start the game. Those are weird crows. Hello? Hello? And we're in. So if you don't know how Luigi's Mansion works, it's pretty simple. You have 100 HP, you gotta suck up as many ghosts as you can, and find Mario. So let's start up the game. Now, I've already gone into the game before last night, as I said. I know a bit about the game. And I've done a little bit of it, and I know the basic gist. But I've never actually beaten the game. Since this game, this system's never had a save cartridge. So what we do is we just knock on the door, we head down here, and we can start up the game. By getting our key to the foyer. And I'm going to be using something I did with a, an old YouTuber did that I used to watch in this game. I used to be really addicted to this game, and I'm still kind of. It's one of my favorite games, but... Anyways. I just got a key. Yeah, my favorite YouTuber I used to watch... A YouTuber a long time ago I used to watch a full playthrough of Luigi Mansion used to do that. But anyway, let's hop into here. And let's see what we got. Stop quivering, Luigi. And there's the ghost. And Professor Egan coming to the rescue. And Luigi is hiding behind the table. It should take a lot of work, not lots of knocks in the work line of work. I'm getting too old for this ghost tasking tomfoolery. Anyways, nice to meet you. I'm Professor Egad. This house, I swear, seems to have more ghosts in it every day. What a young, what's a young fella doing like you doing around here, anywho? Uh oh, he got his friends. Uh-oh, this looks ugly. Alright, youngster, look lively. Follow me, post haste. What does that even mean? Alright, now we can actually move. So your name's Luigi. I think our paths are destined to cross. Well met, Luigi. Hmm? Where is this, you ask? Why, it's this cozy quarters where I do all my ghost studying. Professor Egad's ghost research laboratory. The lab, if you're in a shortening. If, if you're... The lab, if you're a, of a shortening mind. You won this mansion in a contest you didn't even enter? Sounds pretty fishy to me. So you believe this mansion actually exists? Then, strange. I've, I've been living here since I was a lad, or 20 or so. Of 20 or so. And I'll tell you, that mansion appeared just a few days ago. The spirits have you fooled. I don't know if it's a dream or, a, or an illusion or what all. But I'm sure wouldn't be happy winning a haunted house. Now that I get a look at you, 
Every time a guy with a red cat hat, kind of like yours, went into the mansion without even stopping to chat, and he never returned. Was he a dream too? Mm -hmm. Mario! What? That guy was your brother? Oh no, this is horrible. He won't stand a chance against those ghosts without my help. You have to go after him. Here's a plan. I'll teach you how to deal with the ghosts so you can rescue your brother, Luigi. Alright, so here's the tutorial. We're gonna stick with the standard controls, so I'm gonna quickly show the controls for a minute. It is the L button to shoot out fire, water, and ice. The trigger to move Luigi. This to change the direction Luigi faces. B to turn on the flashlight. A to examine or open doors. X here to search for the Game Boy Horror. Y to check your map. Z to check your inventory. And R to suck in with the ghost. Alright, let's show you. That vacuum cleaner I engineered to catch ghosts. I call it the ge this is genius. The Polter Gust 3000. It can suck up all kinds of things. Let her rip. Use the R button to vacuum the C stick to change your direction. Alright, so I know how to do this. So you use the stick. It's also a reverse control, so that might be a little bit of a pain. Like, up and down. Expert and Ghosts are mysterious beings. They can't be caught using conventional means. So you better use this. It's the only way to foil them. It's the only thing they fear. Or something to do with that effect. Ahem. Well, how about we get your training started? Ghosts seem to have light darkness, and they avoid the light. So if you hit them with your flashlight, beam, all of a sudden you can stun them momentarily. Then it's vacuuming time. When you see your chance, hold down the right button and tilt the control stick in the opposite direction. Give it a try. Alright, last time my high score was 4, so I got it 3. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Get him. I gotta pull it back the way he's not facing. Let me try it down a little bit. Remember, as soon as you see a ghost, um, ghost heart, that's your chance to vacuum them up. When vacuuming, tilt the control stick in the opposite direction to bring them in. Got it. Okay, so where are you? Okay. Get in here, you little bugger. When that surprise ghost heart appears, vacuum it with the R button and the control stick. Tilt the control stick in the direction of the opposite ghost. So what I like to do, get him in one line and bada bing bada boom. Oh crap. Oh crap. I'm not good at this. Uh, surprise the ghost and then pow pow pow. How many ghosts are there? Just one? Why the heck did that work? Why is my flashlight pointing up? Alright, cool. Here they come. So get them all together and bada bing bada boom. Two for the price of one. Did I get my high score? My high score was four last time. That'll do. How many did you get? Six ghosts. That's a better score than last time. I might do some practicing in my free time, but I'm probably just going to do Zolom one recording, so I, let's go to the gallery. Off we go. Now, let me just check the time of the recording. Eight minutes already. Holy cow. Time goes fast. So, let's check out what he has to say. There's one more thing I want to check out, read to you. I once had 21 ghost paintings in my famous collection, but now there's only frames. What a shame. Unfortunately, there's only statues here now, but feel free to look around anyways. Use the X button to check out your surroundings with that Game Boy Horror I gave you. Be sure to search suspicious paintings while extra. You can also check objects with the A button by tapping and shaking stuff. Don't... Don't... Don't try that angel statue. <laughs> okay. Don't check the angel statue. It's a statue. A very tall angel statue by the looks of it. Are you done appreciating art for today? Where am I? This is the gallery where I hang all my paintings. Ghost paintings, that is. When I was young, I was... I designed a machine to turn ghosts into paintings, and I traveled the world collecting them. Oh, it was a glamorous day, I tell you. Well then, now I tell you a horrifying story. Oh god. The last ghost I caught was number 22, Boolerus. But there was a lot of boos, and King Boo rallied them all to take revenge upon me. They used my machine to free Boolerus from the paintings, then they went and turned all my other portraits back into ghosts too. If that weren't enough, they built a mansion in front of my lab in the space of a single night. And then they all hid inside. If I told anyone else this, they'd probably have me committed. I'm sure my portrait ghosts are somewhere in the mansion. I just have to get them back. Anyways, I'm going to end this episode of Luigi's Mansion, the all-in-one challenge here. 
If you guys want to see more of this game, let me know in the comments below, and I'll be sure to play some more. Anyways, guys, that's all for now. And remember, Curve Meisters, you suck as a compliment. Later. Ba-da-ba-ba-da-da. Bye.